Today we are talking about the National Broadband Network, a key infrastructure to bring broadband connectivity to the citizens, increasing productivity and contribution to the nation's GDP increase. This is the first part series of uh, Exploring NBN. In this part, we look at the NBN life cycle, the different stages of NBN planning and deployment, and share some key success factors. In the second part, we will look at the services and applications framework. And last but not least, we will construct, if you will, the technologies that enable the NBN network. For any given network infrastructure of such a big scale and novelty, there are typically three stages of building the network, namely the planning stage, the design stage, and the deployment stage. In the early stage, the objective and target has to be defined by the stakeholders. This is related to the national agenda with predefined goals and targets, key attributes of the network such as bandwidth to different subscriber segments and coverage in the year part five. Next, we have the selection of the NBN cooperation and business model, which basically defines the interworking relationship between the stakeholders, specifically the different categories of NBN builders concerning the different layers of the network. There would be the retail service providers, the builders of active and passive network, and as well as other key stakeholders. The relationship between these parties will also affect the roles and responsibilities of each of these builders during the operation and maintenance of the network. NBN is, after all, an investment involving capex and opex on the part of the stakeholder. Therefore, a return on investment analysis involving the capex services packaging, subscriber forecast, etc. will give a clear picture of the time frame for break even. In the design stage, the selection of the best fit key technology will play an important role to determine the network agility, efficiency and scalability in order to enhance the overall total value of ownership. And in the deployment and delivery stage, the implementation involves network establishment, operation and maintenance, Efficient model should be defined, such as the established operate transfer, managed services, etc. When it comes for time to sell the broadband services, joint go to market is necessary to market and increase take up in broadband awareness through various programs and activities such as experience center, etc. Targeted marketing program and continuous service innovation are key factors to ensure the profitability of the network and robust subscriber growth. So that wraps up our take on NBN lifecycle. In the next series, we will explore on the services and applications framework of NBN. Till then, thank you for your time.